I'm Patty Keating. I'm the executive director of the Hypoparathyroidism Association, um, and I've been with them for about five years. I'm a patient myself of hypoparathyroidism, so um, really just got into it to really advocate for myself, but then I saw the need to advocate for uh, the greater good, so um, I'm really excited to, to lead the organization. It's a, a rare endocrine disease um, where the uh, absence of or significantly low parathyroid hormone and calcium levels. Mine was from uh, post-surgical and it can be post-surgical, it can be genetic. Um, well, there's lots of different ways that it can be, but 75% of us are post-surgical. So we've had some sort of neck surgery, thyroidectomy, neck, whatever with the neck. Um, that either cuts the blood supply or it um, removes parathyroids. So we no longer have the function of our parathyroid glands, which affects our calcium, magnesium, potassium, and all those things. Typically, it, it takes a year for full diagnosis when they actually diagnose you with it, but you will immediately, if you're post-surgical, know that you've got some issues with it. So they'll immediately start, in most cases, start treating you for hypoparathyroidism because your calcium will go so low you're gonna have to be treated. But the official diagnosis is at 12, uh, 12 months and it has to be two um, different measurements uh, a week apart, two weeks apart of calcium and parathyroid measure those. So they're managed through endocrinologists. Sometimes they have nephrologists because it really affects our kidneys quite a bit. Um, but they are managed through an endocrinologist through labs. Um, adjusted cal uh, serum calcium is what they check in the parathyroid hormone in the beginning. Um, they check that to, to see where you're at with that. So our organization um, is really uh, patient focused. We do a lot of education. We have a medical advisory board that um, uh, does presentations for us. They do webinars. We have a conference every, a patient focused conference every year um, where we have patients come in or they can go online and they can just hear all the different latest things that are happening. And, we, and they also help them with like new patients that are new to it. So we do the basics. We do what's new and coming um, in the because we don't have any currently we don't have any approved drugs right so it we're on standard of care which is calcium magnesium potassium depends on on the diagnosis so but we um, help them with just the education of it. We teach them how to advocate for themselves, how to explain their disease um, to doctors so that they can get the correct treatment. And we, we refer out to different endocrinologists to be able to help because it is a rare disease. It's very hard to find doctors that know a lot about it. A lot of the challenges that we, we have a problem with with patients um, is their co the communication between them and the, their doctors, right? So, um, and doctors really understanding their true symptoms and how that affects their daily life. So that's really one of our main focuses this year. Um, we just did a patient-focused drug development meeting with the FDA. Again, because we don't have any approved treatments right now, um, we, we needed to really help them to understand the difference between the symptoms and how it impacts our daily life. So one of our goals is to really educate our patients as well so that they can talk to their uh, clinicians, their doctors about um, how this affects their daily life. You can say, yeah, I've got, I feel a little foggy sometimes in my brain, but what does that really mean? I'm driving down the road and I don't remember where I'm at. That's how severe it can get with the brain fog. I think that um, we're very excited because we do have a, a drug in front of the FDA right now and uh, with a PDUFA date of August 14th. So we're really excited about that. There's a lot of, um, from a patient perspective, um, our we have over 5,000 patients that we work with regularly that are seeing the effects 
of the PTH therapies that are out there in clinical trials, the ones that are in front of the FDA, that are really making a difference in people's quality of life. We treated the calcium before, now with the new therapies, it's more about the parathyroid hormone. So we would help with the symptoms before, but now we're actually changing our daily lives, right? We're changing the impact um, with that. So it's, um, we're really excited about that, that, that's going on with that. And all the studies that they're doing, we have a natural history study right now going on um, at Columbia University by Dr. Rubin, who's, it's just amazing. They're following patients for a total of four years, doing all kinds of scans, all kinds of labs, learning everything they can, symptoms, cognitive function, and, and all of that. So that, that's really gonna help clinicians understand. That's really gonna help us get to the FDA to understand even further of the need for the drugs. My advice for newly uh, diagnosed patients is reach out to us at hypopara.org. There, we have so much educational information. We have lots of uh, videos that you can watch to really understand the disease. Because while um, your doctor's gonna tell you some things, uh, and we appreciate that, there's a lot of, they can learn from the patient testimonials um, on how to live with this with, on a daily basis.